Hello, Jeff here. It's been a while since I've given you an update uh, and thought I'd just check in. I'm glad you're enjoying the photography. Many of you have given me feedback. Uh, I've heard about the feedback uh, that you've given the folks on the ground as well. So I appreciate that. It's a, it's a real thrill for me to be able to bring the experience to you through photography. Some of you have asked how we take pictures up here. We actually use just regular uh, photography equipment. Uh, this Nikon D4X is, uh, is one of uh, several cameras that we have on board. So the photography that you see is handheld photography. Some of the video clips are actually uh, video clips made of panoramas of still photography stitched together, uh, merged together. It's overlapping shots that I've, I've made and stitched together and then the folks on the ground have helped um, uh, make a video clip out of them. Uh, we have a variety of lenses like the one I just showed you. Uh, we have wide angle lenses. We also have very big lenses. We've got several of these as well. And uh, it's through this lens. This is an 800 millimeter lens with a uh, 1.5, um, uh, 1.4 multiplier on it. So it, that brings uh, in the detail uh, pretty close. There's a variety of windows on board the space station. Uh, we have uh, the cupola, of course, which I'll show you in a minute, but we also have several windows. Uh, in the U.S. lab, uh, as well as in the Russian segment uh, that we often use for uh, taking pictures, giving us different um, um, angles out of the space station to take the photography in the different places around the world, as well as the different lighting conditions. Let me show you this cupola view. I call this the window on the world. It uh, was added in March of uh, 2010, and it gives us a fantastic view of the planet. It's the only place on station we can see the entire planet from one vantage point. And here we're, we're heading uh, out over the Atlantic Ocean toward Europe. Uh, we're going to cross over the UK here in just a few minutes and then go into sunset. There's a robotic arm that you can see out there uh, that we use to capture Cygnus and we will use uh, to capture Dragon. By the time you see this video clip, uh, I'm sure we'll have Dragon on board. Um, and we'll be unpacking it, uh, getting out the cargo and the experiments and the supplies and the repair parts that it has. Here's the, uh, the Cygnus uh, spacecraft uh, that arrived about a week ago. That's its solar array. Um, and then we have a, one of the Soyuz spacecraft there docked as well as a Progress. And the other spacecraft we can't see from this window. But you can see uh, what is our favorite object here, which is this planet that we call Earth. You never get tired of viewing the, the beautiful planet uh, that is home uh, to all of us. Anyway, we uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now. A lot of William's photos and videos you can actually see on his uh, social media pages. You can find him on Twitter at, at Astro underscore Jeff. He's on Instagram at, at Astro underscore Jeff W. And you can find him on Facebook as well as uh, NASA astronaut Jeff Williams. He's uh, sending down a number of photos on a regular basis and also some video blogs as well.